Hey guys, it's Wombat, back again with another Beyblade Burst review. Today we're going to be looking at Victory Valkyrie Boost Variable, which is the evolved form of Valkyrie. And it's the first bay in the dual layer system, meaning that it has an overlayer that's made of uh, clear plastic, and then an underlayer which is made of colored plastic. I forget which one's PC and which one's ABS, but um, generally this colored layer is a lot more likely to break, which is a design flaw of a lot of the dual layers. So like I was saying, uh, Victory Valkyrie, it, cause these exposed blue parts are pretty easy to break. They've actually released three different molds of this. This blue one here is the first mold. It has no reinforcements in the ring, in the wings, and no inner ring. Uh, the second one, which I think first appeared with the green one, which is hard to find, it had like a crossbar through the wing, which added some weight but didn't really address the breakage issue because it was breaking off like at the base of the wing, not on part of the wing. Um, the third one added like an inner ring to reinforce the wing's attachment to the rest of the layer. And that pretty much solved the breakage issues. I think there's only been one recorded break since it was released in November 2016. So definitely pick up the third mold if you can. Uh, but anyways, on to performance. Victory Valkyrie is, in my opinion, it's probably it's one of the best KO attackers in the game. Second to only Excalibur at this point. Uh, actually, God Valkyrie is probably better, but I don't have that one yet. Um, yeah, instead of, while the normal Valkyrie was good at bursting, this one's good at KOing things. Um, I actually used this, the mold one layer actually, I used Victory Valkyrie Knuckle Extreme at the 2016 championship. And I got second place mainly using that combo. So it, it can definitely KO almost anything if it works for you. Um... If it doesn't work, then I don't know what to tell you, but, uh, combos you can use this with Victory Valkyrie Knuckle Extreme. Sometimes you can switch out the disc for Magnum or Triple. Not a huge fan of Triple. Magnum is okay. Um, with a newer Extreme, sometimes Gravity is better because it helps slow the combo down a bit and can make it a little more controllable. Some people like it on a, a mixed attack combo, like Victory Valkyrie Knuckle Excel. I know Zach Bob likes that. A few other people like it on Excel. I, I don't like it on anything but Extreme. It's also pretty bad stationary. Its burst attack isn't too great, although it's it's decent. Like, if you put it on a KO attack setup and you get enough hits on the opponent, even if you don't manage to KO them, you still have a decent chance of bursting them late game. So like I said, burst attack isn't great, but it's not horrible either. It's not good enough to work on a traditional burst attacker, though. So yeah, Victory Valkyrie is a great layer if it were well I, I think it's great. Your results may vary, which is kinda how burst is at this point. Kinda sucks, but okay. And the disc is boost. Um it's really not that impressive. Like its wing wing was kind of lackluster. Boost is pretty much the same way. These like wing downforce gimmicks, which people have recently made up a term for the opposite of upper force. And they keep claiming that all these downforce parts actually produce upper force, which is just something that made up. And the truth is, they do neither. They're just a weird looking design that doesn't actually work. Um, yeah, boost is an, incre is an incredibly useful part. It's outclassed by most of the other things. And finally, we have the driver driver variable. So if you can look, take a close look at this, you'll see there's like rubber, I guess, grippy spike things on the bottom. Yeah, the uh, it's called variable because these are designed to wear out after use, and its performance varies because of that. Like as these get, I guess, torn off or worn down in the battle, it'll become faster and more aggressive until this is just like a super wide rubber flat. I've actually never used this variable at all, 
So this is what it looks like without any uses. Um, I don't have another one I can a uh, used one I can compare it to. So yeah, that's it. Um, generally, it's not recommended because of how inconsistent its performance is. The uh, the Takara Tomy one wears down really fast. The Hasbro one is made with a different kind of rubber. It's not like a harder rubber than this. It's definitely softer. But for some reason, it wears a lot slower. So that one's recommended, but uh, that's not. I'll do a review on the Hasbro version later. Um, yeah, it's gen it's generally not recommended because once you its performance is so inconsistent as it wears down, um, and once you do get it to an aggressive enough point, it's really hard to control and its stamina is awful. Generally outclassed by Extreme for all intents and purposes. So, uh, as a whole, mm, is it, I'm not sure if, Victory Valkyrie is probably worth, I guess, trying to pick up. Maybe the, ran the random booster red version is better. Um, the triple booster set is, yeah, there's a few different ways to get it. I'm not sure if this one is, like, really worth a purchase. The only arguably good part you get is Victory Valkyrie, the layer, and that only works for some people. But like, the other ways to get it are this, uh, the heavy set, which comes with like, mostly other bad parts, or mostly other like, okay parts. Um, the triple booster set, which has like, trans, but there's easier ways to get trans now. Um, the white chaos, a few pretty useless discs. I don't know. There's like not very many efficient ways to get this. So maybe you just want to go for like the starter because it's probably the cheapest option of getting Victory Valkyrie. Or actually no, um, the heavy set is the only one with a Mold 3 one so I would not recommend getting the starter version because it's the Mold 1 one that breaks easily. So if you're going to get Victory Valkyrie, get the the heavy set. You try and pick up the purple mold 3 one, I guess, separately from that. So yeah, that's the first dual layer Beyblade. Next up is going to be Storm Spriggan, and I'll see you then.